Okay, so today we are going to compare two of the most famous filtration methods available to us these days. This is Hario V60 and this is the Kalita Wave. Now both of these methods are very very good at producing an excellent cup of coffee. Uh, but you know, I think it's time we compare them. And, now, and we have a giveaway today and we're going to talk about it in the end of the video. Now I did a video about the Kalita wave uh, last week and you can view that video right over there and today we're going to compare these. Now the V60 came into being and started getting popular I think in 2010, in 2011, in 2012 somewhere like that and obviously when something becomes so famous and something starts to gather such a wonderful cult following people want to improve on it you know people start to find out ways on how to improve on that and thus we get the Kalita wave now the Kalita wave is, is an improvement on on the V60 so to speak this has three small holes at the bottom with a flat bed they claim that this produces a, a more even extraction as compared to the V60 and the V60 has developed a bit of a reputation of producing where every cup is different from every other cup and you really need to hone your skills on, on a V60 but this produces a more standardized cup of coffee every single time. They claim that this is better. Today what we're going to do is we're going to compare by keeping the brewing process very very similar. I'm using about 12 grams of coffee in each of these brewers. First I'm going to wet the filters and after that I'm going to pour about 12 grams of ground coffee of medium coarse ground coffee in each of these and I'm going to pour about 200 grams of water in each of these and, and I'm going to let them drain down and uh, we have the results right here in front of us. Now I gave these both of these cups about about seven to eight minutes to cool down and uh, so that tasting becomes easier. And now what we're going to do is we're going to taste them and see what's what and what is the difference between the two. Now this is a Kalita Wave and this is a Hario V60. The colors are very, very similar. Maybe you could say that this one is slightly lighter, but you know, that's just, that could just be the trick of the eye. Now the taste difference. The Hario V60 is slightly more um, on the acidic side, it has a bit more acidity, a bit more fruitiness in it. It's a lighter cup of tea. As one of my favorite coffee people once compared both of these coffees to a set of speakers, I, I'll, I'll try to do the same. Now if I have two sets of speakers and uh, if I compare these to, to, to their audio, and I'm a huge audiophile, I love audio and I love I love jazz music and you know whatnot. And maybe we can do an episode on that as well. Okay, if now if this coffee was a set of speakers, then I would say that, that the sound is more balanced. There is no excessive amount of bass in it. It's more balanced. It's not colored, as so to speak. It's not colored, but I would say that the mids are a little higher and the highs are a little more pronounced. Whereas when it comes to the Kalita wave, yeah, whereas when it comes to the Kalita wave, it has a more bass oriented sound quality. The mids are slightly stronger. That's I think the main difference. This is on the lighter side. There is more clarity in it. I wouldn't say that this one doesn't have clarity. This one has, I should say it, it has a different kind of clarity. Uh, this is more on the full bodied side both have clarity but i should say that the coffee that i've used 
the, I've used the same coffee, the same grind, but this brought out slightly different flavors. It brought out the, the more acidic and the more, um, it brought out the more acidic, the more fruity side of the flavors, and this brought out the more heavier side of the flavors. It has the fruitiness, it has the acidic side, but this cup is a little more full-bodied as compared to this one. Now you, you might be asking, what do I prefer out of both of these? That really depends on my preference. In the morning, I would prefer one of these because this is more punchy. This has a more full-bodied flavor, more uh, a more coffee-like uh, uh, flavor to it. Whereas this one, um, I would drink this in the afternoon, perhaps after a gourmet lunch. I would like one of these. It has more delicate nuances in it as compared to this one. My vote would. I, I'm I'm more of a V60 person, but I cannot deny the brilliance of this cup. So both of these have their own place in, in my life. So about the giveaway. Okay, so today we are giving away a brand new set of Kalita Wave filters and a Kalita Wave brewer. This is courtesy of Nomad Coffee Studio. Do check out their website. I have given a link to their website and their credentials down in the description below. And I think you'll find some exquisite stuff which is, I suppose, not available anywhere else in the country. You can win a Kalita Wave brewer along with filters. Maybe you can do that. So, if you don't own one... So, I wish you all the best and uh, please do comment and uh, uh, so that you have a chance to win the Kalita Wave. More importantly, what did you think about this, um, about this video? Do you think this is a good comparison? Do you think we need to do this comparison. Was this even necessary? Have you tried the Kalita Wave? Have you tried the V60? Which one of these do you like best? Or do you think that even they're even comparable? Which one would you like to drink in the morning? Which one would you like to drink in the evening? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, write some good comments. Maybe you can win the Kalita Wave. For now, I would say thank you very much for watching. And I do hope you have a great day.